Recapping the year with goaltender Arvid Soderblom as we break down the 2021-2022 season. Arvid, you got a lot of action for the Rockford Ice Hogs this year. Your first season in North America in the American Hockey League. Time with the National Hockey League, Chicago Blackhawks as well. A lot of high points for you. When you look back at the season, what were some of those moments for you? Uh, one that comes to mind right now is the the overtime win against Texas in Game 2. The That game was so fun and the way we battled through it and then scored in OT and won that series, it was, that was amazing. How was the season for you playing? I mean, you played a lot of hockey. You played more than you ever played overseas. You saw probably a lot more shots yeah. than you ever saw overseas as well. As a goaltender, experiencing a lot of firsts, that's a pretty eye-opening experience. How did you handle the workload that was this past season? Yeah, it was a big workload for sure, especially when deals went up there and finished the season with the Hawks. I, Got to play a lot of games, but I feel like I handled that in a good way, and I just tried to take care of my body as much as possible between the games we had in the in the ending of the year. But uh, I felt like I handled it well, and I almost felt like I played better when I get to play that many games in a shorter time. Like you're you're in it all all the time, so it felt good for me, especially the end of the year and the playoffs felt really good. Well, you say faced a lot of shots in the playoffs as well, especially against the Chicago Wolves. For you, I mean, how did you approach those kind of games where you were facing 20 shots in a single period, an onslaught of power plays coming your way? As a goaltender, it's a little bit different than all the other positions on the ice. You have to kind of compartmentalize and prepare a little bit differently. How were you able to handle that? Yeah, it was tough for sure, especially being outshot that bad. But uh, that's your job as a goalie, to try to keep your team in the games when you're pushed back like that and I felt like I, I did my best but the Wolves were they were good and we we didn't really have an answer as a team to them but I feel like we we battled really hard uh, all of the guys and we we really did the best we could but we didn't have enough this time. Now looking at your season overall where do you feel like you made the biggest improvements coming over from overseas it can be a challenge in of itself for a goaltender seeing the ice a little bit differently but from the start of the season to where you finished up, your numbers got stronger and stronger and stronger, so much so that you set a, a gauntlet of Ice Hog rookie goaltending records. Where do you feel like your game improved the most this year? Uh, maybe like being consistent and playing that many games like night after night and just having a high level in almost every game, like being reliable for a team, like having a goalie you can really rely on that's going to be there every night, I feel like. That's an improvement I made this year. Uh, I've never played this many games before, so being that consistent for that long time, I felt like, um, I'm happy that I did that. How do you prepare now going into the off season? If, if being consistent was something you wanted to work on, what goes into training? Because now you're looking to take that next step, right? You get the first year out under your way, under your belt. Pardon me. What needs to happen for you to to get more time and, and spend more time in the in the Blackhawks organization? I think to just keep working the same way I've been doing, uh, being uh, strong physically, do a good off season here with good, good workouts in the gym. And then when, uh, when the time comes for skating, I'm going to do a lot of good, good skating and then be ready when camp comes so I can uh, get in there and be ready. What was some of the feedback from the coaching staff in today's meetings? How do you prepare now to challenge for a spot with the NHL club going into training camp next year? Because we've seen goaltenders move around a little bit in the organization this season. Opportunity at hand. You got some games in the National Hockey League. How do you become that, that full-time guy or, or get more opportunities? Yeah, you want to be ready when you get the chance for sure. So I think I'm just going to keep doing the, the things I've been doing and then Try to be ready when the chance comes. And be be confident when you get there. Like knowing that you've done done all those little things the best way possible, so you have have the confidence when you get up there and you feel like you're ready. Well, hopefully, this summer allows you a little bit of downtime. I'd imagine yeah. you're going to head back home to Sweden, yeah. spend some time with the family. What, what's what's up for you? Are you going to take any vacation time, or what do you uh, have planned for the summer? Yeah, we'll see. We'll probably go for a vacation, maybe southern Europe, Italy, or something. Uh, get some sun. Uh, Sweden isn't the best weather, but uh, it's uh, it's nice. But uh, to get some sun, we're probably going to go southern Europe. So that's going to be nice, and then just take time with family, relax, and have uh, good workouts in the gym as well, and then start skating when that's 
when the time comes, when you feel ready.